Hello, my name is Byron Gore and thank you for purchasing the angle. You are minutes away from an exciting new sound. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to do is learn how to correctly hold the angle. Make sure that the pointy end is facing downwards. You want to hold the angle between your thumb, forefinger and middle finger like so. Now make sure that the angle is very relaxed and loose in your hand, almost like the way you would hold a pen, but not so loose that it's going to fly out of your hand and hit somebody in the face. Now, we're going to start by gently tapping on the open strings of your guitar, like so. Now let the angle bounce, because that's one of its unique features. So let's move on and we'll do the same thing but with a chord. And we'll just use, say, an, an E minor chord. And do exactly the same thing, uh, but this time we'll have a nicer sound. Now remember, leave the bounce happen. You can also move the angle up and down the strings as you're doing it to create some interesting sounds. Notice that the angle is slightly curved. Now the reason we have the pointy end facing downwards is so that curve also works to our advantage. Now, if you notice and you roll the angle over the strings, it gives a fairly precise way of hitting the individual strings. But there is a more precise way of doing this, and that's by using the flat end of the angle. So we'll start by hitting each string individually from the low E to the high E and then back again. Now you really do want to start off slowly until you get used to doing it and you can hit each string clearly and precisely. Okay, let's start. Great. Now, as before, just pause the video and keep doing that. This is a really great exercise, actually, to learn how to master the angle. Now that you've mastered how to hold the angle, I want to show you a thumbs up way of playing. So something, I'm not sure if I came up with it, but it's something that feels more comfortable and relaxed for myself and my genre of music. So you want to hold the angle in your fingers like so, and I call it the thumbs up way because it's kind of like a thumbs up. Now what this does is gives your thumb freedom to move, which is great because you can strum the guitar and you can alternate between strumming and using the angle. And the same as before, you want a very relaxed wrist, sort of flick of the wrist motion. Uh, and again, not so relaxed that it flies out and hits somebody in the eye or anything. So as before, we'll just practice like we did with the other position of holding the angle, but with the thumbs up way. So we'll do it with the E chord again. Now I really do prefer this way, it just feels more natural to me and more relaxed and I feel like I have more control over the strings. Now what's really cool about this is that you can alternate between tapping the strings and strumming the strings. In this next exercise we're going to tap the E chord and we're going to strum a G chord with the thumb. Okay, let's do this. Now, like before, keep doing that until it feels comfortable and natural. And feel free to experiment with different chords, just play around, mixing between tapping 
and strumming. Now, as I mentioned before, the angle has a natural bounce to it. Now you can utilize this bounce in such a way that you can come up with some really complex and interesting rhythms. Uh, I'll just give you a couple of examples and I'll just mute all the open strings. So what I'm doing there, I'm just leaving the angle bounce. Watch carefully. Now your hand really does have to relax. You can't be clenching on the angle very tight because it needs enough room uh, to have a relaxed bounce to it. And you feel the handle kind of moving in between your fingers as it happens. Now you can use this with chords in a very cool way, like so. And you can of course do this with the other way we learned how to hold the angle. So use whichever position you find more comfortable, holding it like this, or the thumbs up Byron Galway. Now there's another cool feature that I've discovered with the angle, and that's palm muting. And this is something I love to do. And if you're familiar with palm muting, you're going to find this no problem at all. So just mute your strings, we'll just use the E chord again, the E minor chord, and just mute the strings with the palm of your hand as you would if you're using a, a guitar pick. And then the angle is actually going to be further up the neck than usual. Don't worry about this, that's absolutely fine. It's just going to be just above the fretboard here. Just make sure, again, that it's pointy side down and it's directly above the strings and you're not going to be hitting on the wood of the guitar or anything. So you, your strings should now be muted and it should sound something like this when you hit the string. Now I love this because if you mix this with the, the natural angle bounce, it sounds pretty cool. It's almost like a horse trot. And again, you can experiment and you can go between chords. Now the great thing is, you can do everything we've learnt so far just by using the flat tip of the angle, or the broad edge. So just feel free to alternate between them both, or whichever one you like best, and play different chord techniques, rhythm techniques, you can even play solos with it. And don't forget to use the natural bounce and get those interesting rhythms going on. Now I decided to show you a few things that I find really cool with the angle, and then we'll wrap up. Palm muting. Using the flat end of the angle. Using the bounce with the flat end of the angle. Using the bounce with the edge of the angle. Alternating between tapping and strumming.
I'm Byron Gore and thank you so much for watching. Please visit us on theangle.com and post your videos if you're using the angle on our Facebook pages so we can check out your progress and see how you're doing and you can show off your Uber Elite skills. If you'd like to hear more from me or my band, please go to byrongore.com or granicysquareband.com. So what are you waiting for? Go play with your angle.